Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday and I'm starting up another weekly sales video where I show you what sells on eBay throughout the week. And if anything sells on Etsy and Poshmark, I'll throw that into you, although these days it probably won't. We just have eBay going. So anyway, um, I actually had a couple sales this morning I forgot to film. One was just a little, like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. It sold for $7.99 with free shipping. So I'll try not to spend that money on one place. Um, and then those Disney flags that are on the top shelf there. I took an offer of $25 on one of those. Um, and the buyer paid shipping on that. So um, then this afternoon I have this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Department 56 ornament. It lights up. And it sold for $14.99 with free shipping. A little tear on the box, but that's okay. And then this is the strangest thing, this Marisa shirt. I have this on Poshmark. I've had it on eBay. I get so many watchers. I have no idea why. It's just a thin cotton Henley with a little print on it. I don't know. But anyway, it finally sold for $15.23 um, with the buyer pink shipping. And then I took an offer of 10 on this Marisa's top uh, sleeveless. I kind of wanted more, but you know how it is when things are slow, you get desperate. So 10 bucks and the buyer uh, paid shipping. It is Monday night. I just sold this super cute uh, salt and pepper shaker set for $14.99. I did put free shipping on it. Um, it'll go first class, super lightweight. Put it in a little box and off it will go to its new home. I just listed these too, so super cute. I have been trying to get at least 10 pictures a day taken and listing at least 10 items. Um, I often get more pictures done than 10, which is giving me a little backlog of drafts, but that's good. I like to have drafts in the queue ready for me to finish. I feel ahead of the game when I do that, so I don't mind that. Uh, so I just finished up my 10, although one was actually a return that I relisted that I counted as, because I just didn't, I wasn't really in the mood, but I was just trying to get 10 things up. So technically, I sent something to, the, I sent two shirts to the wrong people, switched the orders. Uh, one sent them back, the other I haven't heard from. So anyway, um, refunded, relisted, and um, got nine other new items listed, and I have things drafted. So I figure maybe that'll be better for me to just try to do a little bit of each every day instead of trying to do a marathon photo session or marathon listing session because I just get so bored and burned out on it and I don't want to do it. So we'll see how long this lasts. I'll probably change my mind tomorrow. It is Tuesday morning. I'm sick with a cold. I had a busy morning. I took Lucy to the vet to get her anals expressed and I came home and I played with Charlie for a while to wear him out and now I'm worn out. <laughs> Um, I have one eBay order to start the day. This is a set of four Noritake Blue Haven is the pattern. Usually Noritake puts their patterns on their pieces. Um, four soup bowls sold for $31.99 and the buyer paid shipping. It is now Tuesday afternoon. Just took another dose of Dayquil <laughs> and I have two more eBay orders. Uh, first is this Poppy Trail. Here's the pattern. Uh, it's, what's this? This is the vegetable serving bowl or something. Back in my day, you would have put peas on one side and corn on the other <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Uh, $24.99, buyer paid shipping. And then this is a women's L.L. Bean 3X top. I had this up for $24.99. I think then it got put on sale. Then it had best offer, but no bites. But there were several watchers. So what I did is I relisted it. I put it at $19.99 and I took best offer off. And it sold pretty quick. So buyer paid shipping um, on that as well. It is Wednesday. I'm feeling really sick today. Um, and only one sale overnight. This is a Banana Republic men's top. I took a best offer of 12 on it just because nothing's going on. I need some um, sales. So anyway, I will try to still get some things listed today. Try, I think I said this in the vlog. I know I said on Instagram, trying to do at least 10 photos a day and at least 10 listings a day. So hopefully I, I do have some in the backlog, but hopefully I get 10 of something, 10 more pictures today. So I kind of have a backlog of drafts so that I don't run out of things. So anyway, um, and hopefully get some more sales. It is now Wednesday night. I have two more eBay sales. 
I accepted a best offer of 19 on this fossil purse, um, buyer paid shipping. And then I took an offer of 25 for this lot of five uh, Mikasa candle holders. And um, yeah, I had them up for 50, but somebody offered 25. The original retail, I think, was 25 a piece, but they were on clearance. I think that's a Dillard sticker. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got them at a fill bag sale. So anyway, they've been around a while. I probably could have waited, you know, and tried to get more at Christmas time, but. Things are super slow for me. I know a lot of people have been saying their sales have picked up, but it has not been the case for me. And I just had somebody um, return the $100 Hummel that I sold last week. So their fault, they got, somebody else gave them one or something like that. So they're paying the shipping and they won't get their return shipping back, but they'll get um, the purchase price back once I get it back and make sure it's okay. Um, and then I will relist it. I have automated returns on. And while none of us like returns, I do believe that it prevents INAD cases, items not to describe. Because if somebody gets something and then they decide they want to return it, they go into eBay and they say, you know, like they're going to open a claim or something or they want to return. And I think, I don't know what the prompts are, but I think eBay will say, yes, you can return this item and the person will pick the reason and it's they change this person put change their mind and so when that goes through then they have to pay the return shipping they don't get their original shipping versus if you don't have returns on somebody like this person could have very well said well I don't like that or I don't want this I want my money back how am I going to get it the only way they would get it is if there was a problem with the item and you know they could have broken it or something I'm not saying this person would have done that but that's just the scenario if somebody can't return something unless there's something wrong with it you know they might say there's something wrong with it so anyway I do believe it prevents that I haven't had an item not as described case that wasn't my fault I mean I've had ones that are my fault but um, I don't know how long. So don't want returns, of course. But I, like I said, I believe it does protect me from people trying to scam their way out of it. So anyway, hopefully once that comes back, it's in good shape and I can just relist it. Usually when I get something back and I relist it, it sells pretty fast again because it's, you know, eBay in the system and their algorithm. It's saying it's a desirable item. So anyway, we'll see. Hopefully it comes back in good shape. It is Thursday. It's after dinner actually. Just getting now um, around to filming. So we have five orders so far. First, the big typewriter here, this Underwood. Um, finally sold for $159.99. Buyer paid shipping and that's a sucker. It was like 30 pounds. Gonna double box this one. Um, last time we shipped a typewriter, honestly Papa did not do a very good job <laughs> and it arrived damaged and I had to refund. Um, this one is has definitely some wear to it, so I wasn't able to charge as much as you could if this was like super pristine. But still, 160, I think I paid 10 for it, so not bad on that. And Etsy, we have a giant Etsy sale. You guys, hold your horses, because I can now retire because I sold this mug on Etsy for $7.99. Oh my gosh, um, buyer paid shipping. <laughs> Over on eBay, I took an offer of 25 for this knowing perfume, Estee Lauder. It's been sitting around for a while. I think I had it as much as 60, but um, happy to get rid of it. Remember, if you do perfume, cologne, or any liquid, it needs to go parcel post. It cannot go first class or priority. Um, it needs to go on the truck, not on the planes. So that's going to go parcel. This pack of trading cards, I don't even know what they are. I got them in a big lot. They sold for $15.99, I think, with the buyer paint shipping. And then I took another offer, $25 on six of these salad forks, forks, forks. So these are Wallace. Now here's the thing, normally I don't pick up things that are marked China, but I missed this when I got these. They are stamped China. But this sells over $25. I have a ton of these. So I'll definitely make my money back um, on the lot and the buyer paint shipping. It is Thursday night. I have two more eBay orders. Uh, I took a best offer of $19.50 on this men's Nike half zip pullover thing. Um, and then this Bunny Littles Inesco figurine. 
sold for $24.99. And um, both of these orders, buyer paid shipping. Oh, baby Charlie. Oh, did you wear yourself out playing with the ball outside? And now you want to go back, don't you? Because you just love those talking balls. Those balls talk to him. Oh, people want to see you on the video. If I forget to show you, they get mad. What? I'm making a video of my sales, and if I don't show you and the dogs, they get upset. Oh. Because you have the fan club. I do? Papa fan club. Oh, boy. There's a $50 membership fee made payable to me. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, Lucy Lou. That's crazy. That's a pretty girl, Lucy. She's looking good today, Lucy is. Oh, she's still got her bark. It is Friday night now, and I actually had several orders this morning that I tried to film and then I messed up and I deleted it. So, um, they were all clothes and a coloring book. <laughs> so the coloring book was 10 bucks and the clothes were anywhere. There were, was a three ninety nine, So it was a low ball offer. And I took it cause it was a tiny little old t-shirt and then I took an offer for nine and then the others were 10. Um, and then the buyers all paid shipping on those orders. So then a couple other orders here, I took a best offer of 10 on this American Eagle top. And then I took a best offer of $12.01 on this BKE, like, lacy sweater thing. So, again, I just want to get some clothes moving. I need some cash flow going here. Um, so that is what I'm doing. Buyers are paying shipping. I don't pay much for stuff, so it all adds up. I basically figure I paid my house insurance today, and I'm doing this to pay bills. <laughs> it's Saturday night, live from Iowa. Did I ever tell you guys the story that when Papa fell and broke his leg several years back and he was in the hospital and he was on so much medication and he lost his mind for like three days that he <laughs> did an entire performance that he was on Saturday Night Live. It went on for hours. He's like, it's Saturday Night Live. I mean, he was just out of his mind, wide awake, thinking he is on Saturday Night Live. It was horrifying. Uh, and yet hysterical, and I didn't have a camera back then, otherwise I would have filmed it. He also did a thing where he was in a movie, and it was, oh my god. It was awful, because he would, be like, kept getting up, and it was a nightmare, but it's, we do look back and laugh, and like, oh, are you on Saturday Night Live again? <laughs> anyway, um, I have three orders. First is this Banana Republic little camisole. I have had clothes going, and I've had them, like, at $19.99, best offer, then on sale, some of the things that have ended, I have relisted them for $14.99, no best offer. And this is one of them, and it sold right away. So maybe that's the magic price. This is a Apartment 9 3X. This is one of the pieces I got in the Thread Up box. So it was like $2.40, $2.40. It sold for $19.99, buyer pitch shipping. This is the second piece I've sold out of that box. So I've now had $40 in sales on two items. Um, they didn't ask for best offer they just paid straight up so happy with that and then this is a trivia pursuit from the it's either early 90s late 80s uh one of the original ones and it's sealed and i got it at a church sale for a quarter and it sold for $19.99 with the buyer paying shipping so it is sunday and we already have a problem someone offered me i think 31 or 32 dollars for this nativity vintage nativity and I accepted and then when I went to pull it this was cracked all the way through so I messaged the lady and said you know I will gladly still ship it to you and I'll refund you the shipping um, or I can cancel the order whichever I should email again because it actually doesn't even go with this I think it must have come with this but it actually doesn't match it has an angel of its own so I'll message her let, let her know that I mean I was still she wants to cancel that's fine or I could give her free shipping on it to make up for it so we'll see about that um I accept an offer of 22 on this gap cashmere sweater buyer paid shipping and then someone bought two um sets here of oh I need to look at that that's five it might be six $31.99 each with shipping, but I need to go back and make sure I've got the right count of teaspoons. I know it was six salad forks, but it might be another bag. Nope, I was right. It was five. So yeah, $31.99 each. Um, she paid shipping. I think I have immediate payment on because she didn't send an invoice for me to combine. So I'll combine shipping and give her a partial refund on that. 
I've accepted a couple other offers waiting for them to pay. I accepted an offer a few days ago on a, just a little t-shirt I've had for ages for $5.99. And then they didn't pay. So then I sent a reminder. And then, of course, I get this. Oh, I'm out of town taking care of somebody. Can I pay on, like, the 29th? I'm like, oh, my God. You made the offer. Why didn't you just pay that? eBay is supposedly working on a way that if somebody sends you an offer and you accept it, they pay immediately. That's how it is on Poshmark. So I hope they get to that because, you know, you weren't out of town when you made the offer and I accepted it within like three minutes. So, oh, tis the season. But anyway, that's what happens when you have best offer on. Okay, so I just heard back from the buyer and she said that was absolutely okay because she was wondering why... There were two angels anyway, because this is the angel that goes with it. But um, she said I didn't need to refund the shipping, but I will definitely do that still because that's just good customer service. Um, so, yeah, $31.99. Um, I will do the shipping, but I think it might still be light enough. Well, I mean, it'll be under a pound, so it's okay. So it's Sunday night, and one last order to wrap up today and then this week's video. This is my final set of these Heller um, plastic dishes. I got these at a garage sale. I had three sets. I paid five each. The other two were boxed up, so I got more for them. Um, and they were like plates and a whole set. But this is kind of a hodgepodge, including a tray that is like a super scratched up. Um, but these sold on Etsy for $39.99. I had $49.99 on them, but I have a 20% off sale going on there in a desperate attempt <laughs> to sell something on Etsy before I like kick it to the curb. Um, so 40 bucks on these, buyer paid shipping. Um, so yay, happy about that. I literally was going over to Etsy. I was like, do I even want to look? Um, I mean, I knew there were, I hadn't gotten an order notification. But I didn't have my phone. I was in my office. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go over to Etsy and like, I'm just about ready to say, forget you. And then there was an order. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this week's sales video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Check the links below the video for my eBay books. I've written a number of books about how to make money on eBay. Um, so you can go and check those out. Um, until the next time, bye.